Good to see y'all. Everybody in here good? A up in the Abe Lincoln suite? Good to see y'all. Everybody's back. <laughs> I don't understand Dallas, Texas. I don't understand. Yeah, it's big, one of the biggest cities in America, but you're like, who's from here? Any of y'all from live in Dallas? You live in Dallas? You live in Dallas, Texas. I'm, a, I'm here for one day. What can I not miss in Dallas? Exactly. Okay, yeah. There, it's, <laughs> Dallas is a tricky city because there's like, you, gotta, you can't just go wherever you want in Dallas. It gets nice, bad. Nice, bad. You know? <laughs> you're driving like, oh, this is a nice neighborhood. You take one wrong turn and you're like, have I been on a mission trip here? Like... <laughs> It's like, smells like flowers, smells like weed. It just, yeah. Yeah. switches quick in Dallas. I just, it just doesn't have, like, it's weird. Dallas is like, I love coming down here. Y'all have supported me for a long time. But you know, like, if you go to, like, like, New York City, there's, like, Little Italy, Chinatown, stuff like that. Like, what if you were, like, backpacking through China and you came across, like, a little Dallas? <laughs> like, like, everybody's wearing a cowboy hat, you know? All the roads are under construction. <laughs> Just real authentic, you know what I'm saying? The football team can't win in the playoffs. Just... Oh, come on, come on. It was right there. It was low-hanging fruit. I had to get it. You ever have thoughts like that? That's why y'all come to the show, because comedians, we have different thoughts, you know? Our, our, brain, our brains just work a little different. I'll give you a perfect example. Like, uh, like three weeks ago, I, I took a Spirit Airlines flight. I know, I don't want to brag up top, but you're like, John, I... <laughs> Should we start that over or what, dude? <laughs> My man in a cowboy hat just showed up to the front row. <laughs> That's the most Dallas, Texas thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. Where'd you come from, sir? Were you at the stockyard or something? Where were you coming from? On what? Rockwall. Rock, where you came from Rockwall? I like that. What are you, uh, the mayor or something like that? Just... I came from Rockwall. Okay, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to... Are you good? Should we keep going? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh... This is how a comedian's brain works. This will sum it up perfectly. I was on a Spirit Airlines flight and there was like a medical emergency. You know what they come on? They're like, is there a doctor on board? And everybody was panicking. And I was just like. <laughs> I go, there's no doctor on a Spirit Airlines flight. I go, you know where the doctors are? On Delta, okay? There's no. It was an emergency. People were panicking. They kept, they kept lowering the standards. Like, is there a nurse on board? I go, there's no medical professional on this flight. This ticket costs $40. We're all unemployed, okay? They, get, they just came back on a second later. Has anyone dropped out of nursing school? They just like, Has anyone seen Grey's Anatomy? Like, they just, <laughs> This girl's like, I was a nurse for Halloween. We're like, well, get in here and help us out. That's how my brain, <laughs> my brain just works like that, different. Like, oh, we see the same stuff, all, we all see that my brain just like, it just a little bit, like, cause everybody these days is just trying to be so good. Like, mm -mm -mm -mm. like, like, you know those shoes, Toms? You ever seen these people wearing these shoes, Toms? Like, we're helping, mm -hmm. what are you doing with your, mm -hmm. It's like this brand of shoe where if you buy a pair, they give one to someone in need. And that's a good Christian thing to do, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm, we're thinking about others. That's how y'all brains work. My brain, I was like, I heard about these shoes, buy one, get one to someone in need. I go, what if you got to return a pair? <laughs> Just white guy in a suit's got to go down to Guatemala. Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh, <laughs> we need these back. We need these back. Linda bought the wrong size heels. Sorry, we need these back. Mm -mm. No more soccer. No more soccer. I know. It's back. <laughs> And even like very spiritual, like Christian situations, I'm trying to be mature, really. I went to church with my parents two weekends ago and they brought me in my mom. My mom's always like, has material for me. John, I got material for you. Mother, please. She goes, look at her. John, look at her. Do a joke about this. I go, mother. <laughs> it's this lady in my parents' church that has an emotional support pet. In my parents' church has an mm -mm -mm -mm, like. I was like, hey, mom, you can't show me that. I'm not this mature, dude. I really. How are you gonna, no, how are you gonna have an emotional support pet in church? 
you just in church, all I need is you. I was like, apparently not. Uh. <laughs> if it wasn't for Rufus, you would have died on the way over here, Gina. Inside thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I keep them in. In, in January, I started seeing a new therapist. I only say it was January because I've, I've been thinking about this question every day for the, for since then, okay? They go, you see a new therapist, they ask you a lot of questions. You know, they got a, they got a you know, clipboard, do you drink, do you do drugs, do you smoke, all these things. They got to the one section. They were like, are you attracted to men or women? And I was like, women. And they were like, so you're heterosexual? I go, yes. And then she goes, what percent? And I go, whew. <laughs> I was not prepared for this question, dude. I thought it was an all or nothing. I didn't know. <laughs> I panicked. I said 97%. <laughs> Why did I? She wrote it down in pen. She wrote it in pen. That's all my record for the rest of history. John Chris, 97%. What? <laughs> I'm not saying 100. I was like, I follow Zac Efron on Instagram, dog. I'm not. I like his posts, dude. They come up first in my algorithm. You know what I'm saying? I can't say a hundred. What, what percent would you say, sir? A hundred? You a hundred? All right, that's confident. Rockwell, I don't want to hear your answer, sir. I already know. A hundred. I haven't thought about that question every day since. You know, my barber's like, you want the massage? I go, not anymore, dude, you know? Mm. I had a Banana Republic rewards card. Cut that up immediately. My buddy's like, dude, you want to go to spin class? I go, I can't risk it anymore. 